let us see this set of questions. It says there are three stationary shops, shop 1, shop 2 and shop 3 and they sell five different types of articles, pencils, erasers, pens, sharpeners and diaries. On a particular day, only five children, Amna, Arjun, Alice, Anisha and Ajay bought articles from these three mentioned shops. At the same time, it is given that Ajay did not buy a eraser from shop 2. Let us see these tables. The first table says that how many articles being sold by shop 1, shop 2 or shop 3? That means from shop 3, 2 pencils, 1 eraser, 3 pens, 0 sharpeners and 1 diary was sold. Similarly for shop 2 and shop 1. The second table gives us the data Amna purchased one article from shop 1, three articles from shop 2 and two articles from shop 3 and this is true for Arjun, Alice, Anisha and Ajay as shown in the table 2. The table 3 talks about which of these five children purchased how many articles of which type. Means if Amna has purchased total of six articles and out of six articles, two were pencils, one was eraser, one was sharpener and two were diaries. Now we have to locate that each of these five children have purchased this article from which of the shops. That Amna purchased uh, pencils, two pencils from which of the shop, eraser, eraser being purchased from which of the shop pens being purchased from which of the shop and so on and so forth. As it was given that Ajay did not buy a eraser from shop 2 which means that Ajay bought one eraser from shop 3. And one pen from shop 2 which can be shown in the bracket like this. Now, you see, since Anisha did not buy any article from shop 2, you can see from here, therefore Anisha bought one sharpener from shop 1 as shop 3 does not sell any sharpeners. That means, you can say for sure that One sharpener was purchased by Anisha from shop 1. Similarly, we can say that Amna must have bought one sharpener from the shop number 2. Moving on, since Alice did not buy any article from shop 3, as you can see from this table, and there is no pencil sold from shop 2, you can see from here. Therefore, Alice must have bought one pen pencil from shop number 1.
Okay. Moving on. For the same reason, we can say that Alice must have bought two pens from shop number one. Now we see that Anisha and Arjun did not buy any article from shop 2. Anisha and Arjun did not buy any article from shop 2. Since Anisha and Arjun bought one diary each, you can see from this table, one diary each, therefore they must have bought it from either shop 1 or shop 3, which implies Amna and Alish bought two diaries and one diary respectively from shop number 2. Okay. Now, since the pens sold from shop 1 and shop 2 are bought by Alice and Ajay respectively, therefore, Arjun and Anisha bought 1 and 2 pens respectively from shop number 3. Moving on, since Alice has already bought three articles from shop number one, which is one pencil and two pens, therefore, Arjun and Anisha bought one and two pens respectively from shop number three. Okay. Since Alice has already bought three articles from shop number one, one pencil and two pens, therefore Alice bought two articles from shop two. So Amna and Anisha bought one eraser each from shop number one, as shown in the table. At the same time, Alice has bought one pencil from shop one, therefore Amna must have bought two pencils from shop number 3. Since uh, Anisha has bought one eraser and one sharpener from shop 1, therefore Anisha bought one diary from shop 3 and Arjun bought one diary from shop 1. That completes our table. Now, the questions given in the paper can be easily dealt with.